Hello friends and welcome back to Let's Build My Dream House with me, your host. <sighs> I'm sorry, okay. <laughs> so we're on part three. This part we're going to be furnishing the what we've built so far. So in the last episode we obviously made a start on the construction of the farmhouse with the modern extension at the back. I have changed and tweaked a few bits here and there just so I know where things are going in this episode. This sort of big square sort of wooden block is gonna be the courtyard area into the middle. So I will be connecting obviously the uh, living area over to this way. Um, and also I'm gonna be raising this area of the garden up here and putting in my allotment area. And then I'm gonna be doing a pool area over this bit. And then the bedrooms are going to be housed in this bit over here, which is where the barn is going to be. Um, I'm unsure if I'm going to do the barn two-story height. I probably will because I do want a big walkway. I've got visions for the barn. I do want a big walkway at the top and stuff. But yeah, as I said in this episode, it will be getting the majority of the kitchen area. We'll go into this mode here and I'll put up all the walls so you can kind of get an idea of what the shape of it is i have opened out the top and used that really fancy light from peacemaker which is a gorgeous gorgeous light uh, the kitchen area is going to go in here i'm going to put the dining room probably at the bottom of the stairs around here we're going to try and i'm going to get a toilet in on this side so there's going to be a toilet in this corner over here where i'm looking now uh, and also around this corner here where that little cheeky pot potted plant is that's where my larder is going to be. So that's where I'm going to put all of my like fridge and blah, 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 blah. I want to keep the, um, I want to keep the kitchen as minimal as possible because that's exactly how I would like. Um, what other tweaks have I done? I've also put in a seamless window on the, um, chimney area. You remember where I said I was going to have this as a uh, kind of sitting area where a little cheeky chair can be put in there and then I can sit in that chimney and read. That sounds really weird. But uh, yeah, you can see what I mean by the seamless windows. They just don't have any kind of edge to them. It's just pure glass. I just think it's got a much better look. And I was like, oh, structurally, th that wouldn't be possible. So what I did is I fitted a big steel beam on the inside to kind of hold up the chimney breast or the actual chimney above it. Um, just for realism purposes once again. Now this area here is going to be pretty, um, I'm going to connect through. I think I'm going to be connecting through to the barn on this window here. And obviously I've left this blank to be able to connect through into the barn. But I'm unsure on whether to connect it on this side yet. So these windows will go in the end. But um, I think what we'll do first is I'm going to make a start in the kitchen. I've downloaded lots of lovely CC and stuff to be able to do this. I'm unsure at what items we're going to be using yet but i'm going to have a little goosey goosey goo for <laughs> a goosey through and see what we can do i love this one because this one you can't really tell in this light but it's got a marble top and i love marble top kitchens i have already put in the wall um sort of papers that i'm going to be using like the white brick and the floor which i'm keeping as polished concrete i would love polished concrete in my house um, so I think we're going to go ahead and see what we can do here and get started straight away because I don't want you guys to shout at me. Um, <laughs> anyway, so here we go. I'm just thinking. Let's just plunk these in first. Oh God, I haven't even got my cheats on yet. I haven't even got my cheats on yet. That is very, very bad of me. I think I'm going to do a five. I was going to do a six, but because I'm putting a larder in now, I don't want... Well, it's not going to fit, to be perfectly truthful. And five is quite enough. It kind of balances out quite nicely. I will replace one of these with an oven. I do want the oven in this area. Yeah, I think I am going to use the white. I like the white uh, countertops of everything. I don't want it to be dark in here. It is already going to be slightly dark because I have used the kind of original wall. Um, I also knocked this wall out so I can um, get a bit of space here as well. It was just looking a little bit too cramped. And I do want this as open as possible. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to put the uh, oven here. Now, with the oven, I have downloaded it. All of these, what I'm using now, are from Peacemaker. I, it, as I've said before, easily my favorite CC creator. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for this one. What colors do you come in? Let's have a look. Do I want to use a... Or should I do a white cooker? That would look pretty cool, actually. White cooker or silver. Let's have a look. Now, I think I'm going to go for white. I think I am. I can always change it at a later date if I change my mind. I just prefer the top, the look of that at the top. That looks really nice. Yes. 
And my idea was, I'll show you in a sec. I don't want to split off into a tangent. Let's get the back bit on first. So this is the same one, isn't it? Just so I'm not derping out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And then I'm going to put these on the back. And these are quite cool because they come with drawers on this side, but you can always hide them away. Um, You can, oh, let me just bring this light down so we can see that detail of the yeah, that looks really lovely. So that island is a definitely a substantial size island. Um, I'm unsure if I'm going to use any kind of corner details at the end. We can always check. They do come with some nice like sort of... Yeah, that looks pretty cute. I could just do it on one side. I don't want to block that area in. So I am going to do it on one side. Just here and... Oh, God. Well, I suppose you're... I suppose it only does that way. Oh, that looks cute, actually. I thought that was going to look weird. And then we can stack some glasses and stuff in there. Let me just see the balance of this. It almost gives like a minty green color in this light. And what I'm going to do, this is my idea. Um, Go into build. Let's get the fences out. Excuse you. Excuse you. And we'll get this one. Well, I think I'm going to do this in a white as well. Again, I'm keeping it the colors matching as possible uh where's the middle there isn't really a middle here but this is a, directly above the island so i think this will work what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna pull this beam across the glass check to see if it looks weird nope that looks absolutely fine and then from this beam i'm gonna add in some lighting now i have downloaded lots of new lovely lights i do really like these here for the kitchen i think they'll look really nice I kind of like that length. I think I don't think I'm going to do white for these. I think I'm going to pick a nice color out. I wouldn't mind accenting in some of the colors from outside. So I will be using a lot of greens and browns and stuff in this build because they are my favorite tones to use, even in real life. But I do love bright colors as well. So I will be getting in a pop of color every now and again. With doing this kind of... Let me get rid of this light at first. With doing this kind of thing, um, sometimes like you can see where I put that beam, the lights are not meeting it. So what I tend to do is just grab hold a couple of the lights uh, and just give just give them a couple raises. No, they're still light that area down below, but it just helps because then it actually, hopefully, fits on the beam itself then. Yeah, you see, it's kind of connected now, so it kind of makes sense. Now that looks cool. I'm happy with that already. Happy with that already. Now, sink area. I definitely want the sink near the oven. It kind of makes sense. Um, so what I'm going to do is put a nice industrial style sink in, I think. Lighten it up just slightly. I suppose that's the medium kind of lighting. Oh, there we go. Yeah, lovely. Lovely, jubbly. Yes, I'm happy with that. Right, we'll get to picking bar stools in a second. What I'm just going to do, first of all, is not be in that mode. And I'm going to get the larder area in. Now, I'm unsure if I want to put a door into the larder or not. Uh, I don't know just yet. Now, I don't think I'm going to put a door there. What I'm going to do is just put a, a simple archway into the larder. Doobie doo doo. Where are the arches? Where are my arches? Yeah, like this. I'll put that in a white, though. So it kind of brings through into there. Yes. Okay, and I want a, a fridge and some shelving units and stuff to be stacked in here. Now, I'm unsure about this window now, now, now this is here. I think I'll take that window away. Yeah, I think I'll take that window away. And it kind of makes sense having the flow into the larder that way, so you can just go right into this area over here. Yeah, cool. Okay, um, I did download some CC fridges, but I'm not... If I had to have a fridge... <laughs> If I had to have a fridge, like most of the people in the world, Aiden. Um, I love the smeg fridges. Now, there was some CC smeg fridges, but they, I downloaded one and it was just... Oh, it was really, really... Um, it was really alpha and just not very attractive to look at. So, I was like, bad bitch. So, I got rid of her. I got rid of her and she wasn't invited for the rest of the... For the rest of the day. <laughs> for the rest of the day. <laughs> what am I on about? Oh, God. Right. I'm going to bring another one of these in. And I did download a really, really cool... Now, I love baking. So, I'd imagine this is probably where I'd house some of my... Um, sort of appliances and stuff. Here it is. 
Okay, so look, it's a little KitchenAid. How cute is that? Really, really nice as well. Kind of, it's, it's still quite alpha, but it still almost fits in with the aesthetics of this. Um, In here, I'll probably put just like a simple light bulb light. Cool. And then what the, around the fridge area, I was thinking maybe some shelving. I don't really like loads of cupboards. And look, there are enough cupboard spaces. I think what I'll do is do some really nice shelving and um, put plates and stuff on it because Peacemaker's just got this really, really lovely shelf. Even though I have got these from the Plum Bob Architect, which are like crates, like crate shelving units, which are really cool. I do love them. But um, no, we'll, we'll stick with the normal shelves. And I think I'll bring a bit of wood into this area just so it doesn't look too... That's a bit dark. Just so it doesn't look too stark white. Oh, that's a bit dark as well. Let's try and... Let's go through the motions. That's nice. That's a little bit better. Now, how high is that? Yeah, that should be fine. If I do one there, one there. Would two shelves be suffice? Would that suffice? I think it would. And then with the decorations, we're going to clutter, filter for custom content, and then the Peacemaker's got these lovely plates that you can just stack up everywhere, which is nice. And then we've got glasses as well, I think. I think, yeah. So we could just bring a couple. Can I copy these? Oh, I can. Lovely. If I bring some glasses in here, like so. Um... Coffee machine wise, I definitely would want a coffee machine and it would be out here. So I might even stick a coffee machine, maybe like on the edge here. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'll put coffee cups over on this side here. So the glasses and everything else can be in the larger. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Coffee cups. So if I just put coffee cups down here, I wouldn't like go all sleeping with the enemy and shit and start lining up all my um <laughs> my tins and cups and various straight edge positions let me know if you get that uh, reference anybody who's watched sleeping with the enemy is one of my favorite movies and it's got julia roberts in so that's good enough for me um and we'll put a couple of these like i know they're like noodle dishes aren't they i thought i downloaded a walk a walk a walk. Yeah, there we go. Lovely. Right, back into here. And then what I'm going to put in here are some just random bread bin. Um, I don't... This is huge. Like, I always want to use this, but I always find it gigantic. I know I could size it down, actually. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. It's like a butcher's block. That just looks cool there. Mm. <laughs> like, mm. Or shall I put it in here? Yeah, let's put it in here instead. What I can put there is that they've got this really cute bowl of fruit, which with oranges and limes and oranges, it looks like. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll plonk you there. And I do want a plant in this area. I would like have a herb garden or something in my kitchen. So I'm going to make use of some of the plants in just a second. But let's get a few other bits in here, shall we? Some pots and stuff. I mean, we'll just, yeah, we'll put these in. I'd like them in white as well. Is that blue? <laughs> That's blue. <laughs> Can we uh, just... Uh, it doesn't really matter being back that far. In fact, those colours look really nice together, actually. To start choosing the bar stools. Um, now, I did find some really lovely bar stools that I loved. I think it was these ones. Um, I think they would suit the aesthetics of this kitchen the best. I would like them in a pop of colour. But again, trying to like sort of stick with the... Oh, there's the dark forest green. I just wish the wood was different. I mean, that's even lovelier. And it matches in with the light still because it is... Yeah, we'll use these. They're lovely. Um, I'd want about... Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do the full five. We'll do the full five, but that is a little bit overkill for bar stools. I like a, I like a four bar stool, personally. Personally, my dear. But so far, that's looking pretty cute. Um, I think what we'll do is start choosing the dining table i already know what table i want to do and then in these corners i'm going to put some plants maybe a chair in this one maybe just like a nice sort of armchair to sit in the sun if you wanted 
Um, and I'm unsure what I'm going to do here yet. I think the dining room table kind of swamps this area anyway. So I think I might just leave these spaces for walls and a mirror on the inside here. But first things first, I want to separate these stairs off. So what I'm going to use is um, the same thing I use on everything to separate rooms when not using a wall. <laughs> I tend to use this object far too much in my game. But we need some more objects like this. We really do. And the object in question, I can't find. Oh, here we are. And use it in a white. And if I put one there. Now, when I was player testing this, I only could do one side because of the gap upstairs. Do you know what I mean? I couldn't put it there because it would just look weird. And I don't mind that. It still gives that feeling of separation off to the kitchen look. Oh, that looks pretty already. Look at that. Look at that, people. I'm practically moist from that, darling. Oh, I didn't give a thought to that shit <laughs> right we're gonna have to extend this outwards it doesn't matter we're gonna we're gonna do this chat we're gonna do this together everything is gonna be okay and this will probably make this will probably be better actually because <laughs> shit i didn't think about that didn't think about the glass at the top i always i tend to do that quite a lot I forget about the glass at the top. Yeah, I tend to forget about the glass at the top and then I'll just like build a room and the wall will be going over it. That's not good architect skills. Not good architect skills. Uh, do excuse me to anybody architect out there that's cringing right now. Um, What can we do on top there? Maybe just a half wall, but a smaller half wall than what we did for these like little square bits here. Maybe just one like this. Can we um not do that? Thank you. Now, did that make it ugly? Mm, it didn't make it as streamlined and as pretty, but it's better than having the glass into the top. I can't, I can't, I just can't, I just can't. I'm sorry, but I just can't. I can't be having glass tops into my, what did I call it again? Larger. <laughs> Maybe covering that in ivy would help actually and kind of blend it into the building so it doesn't look too stuck on the edge. But the space should look a lot better in here now. Oh, it does. Yeah, okay. Okay, so I'm happy over that. Anyway, let's get back to where we were, shall we? So we were just about to do the dining room table. Uh, I think I'm gonna use the Sims 4 dining room table. I haven't downloaded any dining tables because I, 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 I do like, well, I have got a few CC ones that I always use, but I, this is probably one of my favorite tables. I love this table here. <laughs> I would happily have this table in real life. And I'm never usually a fan of glass tables, but I don't mind them for a dining table. I don't like like glass coffee tables and such. They scare me a little. Right, I'm unsure if this is the right wood to use just yet because of the lighting in here. So I think first off, we'll get some lighting going on. Now, I don't want to use the same lights from the kitchen. I think I'm gonna, I did try these ones and I did like them, but I think I'm gonna size let me see if I could use a medium and hang it directly over. There we go. That's exactly what I wanted. <laughs> but I think I'm going to go Scandi. Like my favorite sort of inside interior design is Scandinavian design. I love clean, white, airy builds. Um, Yeah, we're going to go for that wood. A little bit lighter, but we're going to do it. Yeah, Scandinavian interiors are my favorite interiors. They really are. Uh, I remember looking at these and thinking they were absolutely stunning. Again, from Peacemaker. So I'm unsure of what chairs we're going to use there. It was a mixture between this one and this one. And I love this one here as well. I think it's lovely. Uh, and we could always pull the green over to this side. Or even the pink, actually. Like a really pale pink. This one is a bit too vintage rose. This one is a bit more of a pale pink. Hmm... Yeah, I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to do it, chat, I tell you. Yeah, and I'd want probably like a good six-seater table so I can get all my friends around and stuff. Now, I'm going to shuffle this. It's a little bit too near the fireplace for my liking, but I don't want it to be too near the uh, stairs either. So I think I'm going to shuffle you along and just check above that I'm not hanging. Oh, that light is just barely... Oh, I don't like the way it hangs over at the top there. So I'm going to shuffle you in again and pull you in just slightly. That's still going to be too close. Especially to the fire. Oh, I do want that directly over the table though. Oh, well. 
Mm. Oh, what was that noise I just made? <laughs> mm. <laughs> it's disgusting. What about if I shuffle that? And then pull that in just one. Oh, bye. <laughs> just pull that in just one there. Yeah, that's not too bad. And then that makes me feel happier knowing that that light is not like directly on the edge of that upstairs, you know? Yeah, that's nice. Okay. Okay. Happy with that. Now, I'd want a rug underneath my dining room table. Probably, I don't know if I downloaded any CC ones. Um, Again, I'm happy with most of the rugs in The Sims 4. They really, they really, really do um, some amazing rugs. No, these aren't. These are drains. This is a rug. Oh, that's nice. Let's have a little look at this one, shall we? Let's go through the swatches together. Oh, or two of them. Oh, I do like that. Right, that is a definite maybe. But I also, I love a fluffy rug. So maybe skipping away from the custom content. I mean, I've used this rug to death in all of my builds, but it still is one of my favorites. I mean, they're so different. <laughs> but I kind of prefer this one for the texture. Imagine getting food in that rug as well. Oh, no, thank you. Imagine having to clear that out. Yeah, and I think keeping it very soft um, and sort of like charcoal grey. I mean, that's gorgeous with the pink. We're going to pop some colour up on the wall here, but I still want it to be quite subtle painting-wise. Um, I've got some gorgeous custom um, content paintings. Some of them are quite bright, actually, so I'm unsure as to whether... That's really pretty. This is really lovely. Um... I'm unsure if I'm going to put in too much colour. Now, these are too slightly too big for this wall in my eyes. Ooh. That looks lovely. Because of the green from the cupboards, look. Yeah, we're going to have that one. Oh! <laughs> Shit the bed. <laughs> oh, yeah, like that kind of size. And this probably be a perfect place to put like a, a ottoman or something below it. Or maybe a... Um, or maybe a like a unit or something so we can house some stuff on it. But yeah, I think that looks pretty cute. Pretty cute. And as I said, we're going to be putting a mirror in this area here. Now, I have got some really lovely mirrors that I downloaded from Peacemaker. Everything is just going to be from Peacemaker. I think what I'm going to do is use two of them and kind of stack them like this on top of each other. I do kind of like that pinky tone that it's got to it. It's going to blend in well with the chairs. But I'm just wondering if I could bring another tone in. Maybe like a pale green. That's a bit too green. Let's go a bit paler. There we go. Like this. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Definitely need some kind of like... I'd probably have candles near the dining area. If this was my house, I'd love a... I love a candlelit diner. I do. Um, Maybe putting them in uh, like that. That could be quite cool. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, Aiden, for goodness sake. For goodness. Oh, that is pretty. That is... I forgot I downloaded that. I saw that and I was like, yes. <laughs> I saw it and I was like, yep. Yeah. That would look lovely as a, like a dining centerpiece. <gasps> oh, eucalyptus and whatever those flowers are. Are they... Is that eucalyptus? Certainly looks like it. We're going to go with that. Um, maybe just putting a few of these up. Or even, they have got a really, really gorgeous one. Um, in, yeah, this would look really nice here. Can we have paler than that? There we go. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Happy with that. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Now, onto the windows. So, all of the window area, I do want to use the shutters. I would love shutters in real life like just nice white shutters where you don't have to have curtains up at your window um i'm unsure if i'm going to put them in there yet because this is going to be the toilet uh and the toilet area i did map this out roughly off of camera um i think what i'm going to do is do a do do and then i didn't want it to block off so i'm going to curve that around and then go into there and then for this i'm going to use the same brick that we used in there brick it in and then i'm going to tile on the inside of the toilet area uh so this kind of acts as i'm going to do like a little chair underneath of here or even like a little ottoman where you can come in and take your boots off what have you um 
And a few more decorative objects. But let's get the tiles on the kitchen. I mean, on the... Toilet. <laughs> on the toilet walls. Now, I love these subway tiles. I use these to death, but I absolutely adore them. It's exactly what I've got in my bathroom. IRL. Uh, so maybe putting a blind up on this one here would probably suffice. And we could just use one of the... We could just use one of these. Maybe just size you down slightly. Yeah, there we go. That fits on the window nicely there then. Let's get a light in here, shall we? Bathroom-wise, light. Not too fussed, but I don't want it to be fugly. Um, probably wouldn't use like a dangly one as such, maybe. Maybe just using a spotlight. Just using a bare spotlight and sizing it down would be the best way to go. So it's minuscule. And this is just literally like a guest bathroom. So the guests could come down here and have a bath. Well, you will put the actual shower blocks in, into um, sort of en suites and stuff. Um, with the door, I don't want to go too modern with the door. So my idea with the door was probably to use the um, one from, is it Cats and Dogs? I can't remember where it came. What pack it came with. What pack did you come with? Where are you, you little shit? Oh, why? Why are you so hard to find? There we go. Yeah, I like this one. Yeah, that looks nice there. That looks nice there. Okay. Okay. Now, down here, I will not use, like, I'll just do a literal, uh, uh, I suppose being a guest bathroom, you would want a shower in here. In fact, I'll use this one and I'll shove it into the wall, which is a trick I use with this particular shower cubicle quite often. Because it just gets rid of those tiles then. Yeah, that's cute. It's not going to glitch out, is it? Sometimes when you zoom in and out, you can see the shower block come back through. But no, it's fine. It's absolutely fine. And then I'm going to put a, a, just a simple sink on this side. We'll use this one. Wrong one. <laughs> it is a bit of a chunky boy, but... It fits in nicely. Again, keeping it very, very light and white. It's just, just the way I go. Just the way I go. And a simple modern uh, mirror would be nice in here. So I always use the circular one, which is from Spa Day. I think that looks pretty nice. Again, keeping this very minimal and very bare. And toilet-wise, I'm not really fussed. But maybe just one like this. Again, white. And we'll come and detail that at a bit later date, but I don't want to bore you guys. I need to get things done um, into the areas over here and stuff. So we'll carry on doing what we're doing. So back into this little bit over here. So now, as I would want to come through the door, I probably want an ottoman there really. And maybe to put like a storage unit or something there. I'm not too sure. We're going to go. We're going to get the seating up. Comfort. Get the comfort up. Uh, this is probably going to be a long episode today, guys. So bear with me. It might be just under an hour or something. Um, doop -doop -doop. Now, they have got these lovely sort of window seats, which would really look nice underneath there. So I think I'm going to use that. Now, where's the bit that goes with it? I can't find it. I can't find it. Is it this one? Yeah, it is. Yeah, maybe doing a three of these. What colors do you come in? Um, they do wood, all the shades of wood and all of these beautiful colours. But I think I'll just do a plain sort of, is that white? That's not white. That's like a beige. There's white. White. And then grab the cushions and sink them on there. Now that's not the right tone for it there for me. So I think I'll bring this down to like a softer grey. There we go. Lovely. See, that's perfect because you could just come in and take, you could do your boots there actually rather than under here. Unsure what to put under here just yet. I might keep it just completely bare because it kind of looks nice already. But what we do need for this area around these bits is a bit of lighting. So I think I'll start doing that now. I think I'm going to use wall lights for these areas. I do want the lighting is really, really important for me with interiors. You can either make or break it. And a lot of the lights in the Sims 4 are either too bright or not bright enough. <laughs> so there's never like a happy medium. Let's have a look at, but I've got two of these. And I remember this near being gorgeous. Maybe just bring in a little bit of gold over. 
but I have got a copper in here. So it has got a copper. Yeah, we'll use a copper. We'll do one here. I love the way that this light looks with the old style wall as well. It's very conflicting in style, but it's still, it's still got a bit of unison to it. It really has. It really has. <laughs> it really has. And obviously a rug to wipe your feet. Get all the crap that you've dragged in from the outside off your toes. We don't want that, darlings. I always use this one, but maybe for this build in particular, I'll use a different one. What colors are you? Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, that's perfect. Little, little rug, little rug area. I would want some lighting under the stairs or something. I don't know just yet. Don't know just yet. Let's stick one of these here first. Now, how high did we put you? We didn't put you at default height. You were just kind of brimming on the edge of this. So let's go a bit closer to what we're doing, darling. And pop you just there, sweetie. Sweetie, darling. And then here, I'd probably have a unit with some, with some bits on. This would be a nice space for a sofa. Like a little, like, sofa something. Maybe. Maybe. Anyway. Okay. Unit wise, uh, let's go into living area, go into these accent tables. Let's get the CC back up again as well, because I did download some gorgeous ones. Um, I liked this one because of the marble and it was going to match him with the kitchen. But there was also, uh, there was also this long boy, which had the glass, which I really love, actually. So maybe, and that fits on that wall perfectly. I remember, yeah, I remember picking that now. Yes. Now, do I want to keep it white? Or should we take this to like a, maybe a softer gray just to bring in the tones from the bottom of the, that's wood. I don't want it wood. Or do I? That's lovely. And this could like house just a few bits. I mean, that's a little bit crushed onto that side now. So maybe if I just wing it slightly over here, give that a little bit more leg room. Maybe just pull this back just slightly. Just ever so slightly. That's comfortable enough to be able to get through there then. Yeah, that's kind of cute. Yeah, I'm kind of living for that. Okay. Okay. And as I said over here, I definitely want some plants in this area. Because this would be an amazing place to grow some plants. It really, really would. Um, I've got some really nice bits of seeds. You know, there was one big plant that I really wanted to put down here. One of these. Maybe bringing in a pop of colour with that. The dark green. Matching in with the chairs. Don't want it too matchy-matchy. But I can't kind of put plants in front of here either. Because this will is supposed to be like a big bifolding door. Maybe put one of those boys there. And a tall boy over in this corner over here. Now that's the one I wanted. But maybe not bringing in the green again. Maybe going for the white. Pure white into that area there. Yeah, that looks lovely. We're going to push you in just ever so slightly. Just ever so slightly. There we go. Stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Um, oh, damn. <laughs> I bet everyone was like, no, you're going to be putting a walkway there. I need to remember that. We're going to be connecting on this side. I forgot. Silly bum. Never mind. It looked a bit weird with two paintings there anyway. But um, there's a few finishing touches like this little bit over here. I'm wondering what we could put there. I wonder if we could do like another little shelving unit. Uh, oh, that works. That works. I kind of like the white as well. And we could fill this with some stuff as well. We'll fill that with some stuff. Put another cheeky plant on top of it. I could, instead of doing this, I could put a lamp there, actually. That would make sense. Um, nope, just used you, you silly. It needs to be a bit more of a bushy one. A bushy boy. We need a bit more of a bushy boy here. I mean, that is supposed to be for the floor. Oh, snorry doggo. I can hear my I can hear blue snoring in the background, but I don't mind. Because he's cute as fuck and he deserves to have any kind of snore that he wants. Yeah, like that one. Maybe change that, but we'll have we'll keep that in there for the minute. And let's get a lamp going on here. Kind of feeling this being back over here. And I do prefer the light that it gives off as well, so. 
I mean, this could house a few more objects, but we'll figure that out at a bit of a later date. I think the best thing to do now is to go upstairs and I'll just decorate mainly this kind of uh, seating area over here as to what you guys wanted to see before. Now, I have got the perfect chair for this, um, but it is quite a tight squeeze with this chair. It's this one here. I think this one here just looks perfectly loungeable. Um, not that one. No, it was definitely this one. And this came in like a forest green as well. Now, let's get the color. That's the... Yeah, that... Oh, that one, is quite, that one is quite bright, but I kind of like it. I mean, it's a swivel chair. I mean, it's very close to these beams. These do, like, if I... I would have wanted these kind of, like, flush, if you know what I mean. Oh, oh, oh. So, like, this was still free here, but we're just going to have to go with this. Now, I'm going to spin it just slightly like this. There we go. Just slightly like that. And then we're going to do a little cheeky table. I've got the perfect table for in here. It's this one. Um, and I think I'm going to keep that in white, actually. I'm going to keep that in white. Plonk that around about there. Maybe just like up to the edge. And then we'll put another plant on that with like a pile of books or something. Uh, you would look really nice there. Oh, no, I know the one that would look really nice. Uh, custom content. This one. I love this. So simple, but I just find it really beautiful. Really, really pretty. And then just like a cheeky little... A cheeky, cheeky... Little pile of books. Or just like those two book ones. You know what ones are made? Do you know what I mean? Just the cheeky little pile of books there. Um, I have got a speed bill coming out this week as well, guys. It will be out this weekend coming. I haven't had time to properly do it. Oh, see, I love that. Look how cute that is. I'd love to sit in that. Very nice. Um, but yeah, I've I it should have came out before this episode, but the speed bill's just taken a lot longer than what I um originally planned. So you'll have to excuse me and I thank you for your patience. <laughs> Thank you for the patience, friends. Now, all I'm going to do is this little area here. And then we're going to go in here and just... I'm going to do up the garage and get the utility room done. Um, and then we'll start next time doing the courtyard and the barn and everything else. So, Because I think this episode is going to go on a little bit too long this time. Now, I've yet to download some CC... Um, some CC like book piles and stuff. I know there are some out there. So I will go and do that very soon. So I'm able to like put more of these on these like shelves and stuff. But for the meantime, I'll just put these up. Because there are some better looking ones out there. So I will find them and I will. I will get them for next time chat. I, I mean, I call you chat in every episode. You'll have to excuse me. But how cute. Love that. Love that little area there. We'll concentrate on this next time. We're going to come into the entrance or one of the entrance halls uh, and go through here. I'm thinking maybe doing a... I don't want anything to dangle down in this glass bit. I do want it to be... And what I mean by that is the lighting. Uh, so I think I'll just stick with the, the, the saucer lights for these areas. Let's get some night time on the go. Um, shrink your dune. We'll put one there, one there, and then one there. And then in the garage, I'd maybe use these ones because I do like these for garages. Into the garage. I think I'll do two, like one there and one there. Yeah, that's, that's cool. And again with the utility. We'll do a little cheeky saucer light in this bit. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. So this is like the utility be be beauty room, boot room, etc, etc. Um, and I did download a cheeky little car to be able to plonk in here. Where it is, I do not know. So give me a sec and I'll find it. Here it is. So this is a cute Range Rover. Look how cute this is. 
Cute little Range Rover for when we eventually get cars in the game. Yay. <laughs> now, this was made by the Fresh Prince Edits. Uh, I, as always, I will leave a link to everything down below in the description box where I downloaded it from and such. So, this fits perfectly into... I don't know if I'd have it in white though i think if it was anything i'd have it in a, a black like a matte black yeah much cooler much cooler um again let's just leave a little bit of room so they can get out and whatnot i wouldn't want like a workshop or anything in my carriage it's just not for me but i think that would be the perfect space for it to plop in we'll do that anyway on to oh one thing i didn't put in the kitchen actually is a dishwasher Oh, that's going to take storage up there, but I don't care. We need a dishwasher. I would have the dishwasher in here as well, so it kind of just keeps it away. There we go. Little cheeky dishwasher. Cheeky dishwasher in there. Um, Here, I was going to put like a storage room where we could put all your coats and whatnot. So if I go into the bedroom, get you... Oh, excuse you. Excuse you and get the one from get together. You have got a one that would match him with this wall nicely. I know you have. There we are. Stunning. And then I'm going to put my washer and dryer around this area here. I think I'll stack them and have a sink in front of the window. Kind of makes sense that way. Um, so I hate looking for washing machines. They're always in like weird areas. Recreation. I can think of better things to do in my time than washing clothes for recreation. <laughs> Not for me. Not for me at all. But yeah, I think that would be pretty cute there. Along with a nice sink. Along with a cheeky sink. Um, I'm not sure what sink card to use here, actually. I think I... Oh, I think I want... <sighs> you would want something that looks quite robust. So even like something like this. Like a um, or even this one. Can, oh no, because that kind of blocks the window then, doesn't it? It's got a high back on it. Do, 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 do. Yeah, we'll use this one. Again, keeping it in a pale grey as well. Pale, pale grey. I do use a lot of grey. <laughs> My partner hates the fact that I use a lot of grey. I'm just like, everything grey! <laughs> everything grey! Looks a bit weird from the outside, but I could actually move the window. Nah, we'll keep it there. In fact, what I could do is change that window for a shorter one. So it doesn't kind of show off the bottom of the sink and start looking weird. Yeah, if I use that window, it's really cute. It sticks out. And then I can put, you can, with these windows, which I love. These windows are from Mutsk, by the way. Um, which I love. They come with like a, a slot. So you can like put a cheeky little plant on them. Which I love. Which I love. How cute. Love that. Yes. Yeah. And we'll do a bit more detail. But I think this is where we'll probably leave it for this time. Uh, we've done quite a bit. Quite a bit today. Obviously, it's going to be a little bit fussy with me wanting to get things done and get things right. Obviously, there needs to be stuff on top of there. I want to put more plants around. More plants. Um, that's going to be a walkway. Um, but the kitchen has come together. It's definitely come together as minimal as I would want my kitchen to be. So I can, I just love minimal kitchens because it just cleans it nicely. Not liking that there. But that is The Sims 4 and not me. Um, cheeky little larger area. Next time we'll come out into this courtyard area. Now I'm unsure where I'm going to put the pool. I don't know if I'm going to put the pool outside here. Or I'm going to put it over there in a different space. Unsure just yet. But I think so far this isn't looking too bad. Uh, there's just a few little tweaks that needs to happen. But if I do tweak anything off of camera, I will let you guys know. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I love hearing all your feedback. You guys are amazing. I am so lucky to have you guys as my community because you make me smile and you make me moist. I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> Bye.